Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Airships Conquer the Skies. This is a game that's been developed by a solo dev named David Stark. It's been in development for quite a long time. Uh, but as of just a couple of days ago, it is now at full release. Version 1.0 is here. Uh, this is a, It's a sort of steampunk-themed uh, airship game. We're going to be building uh, airships and trying to destroy other folks. You know, airships with, uh, like, like blimps, and, and sails, and, and propellers, and, and, and coal to be powering all these things, and, and guns on board, and grenades, and bombs, and, and fighting it out. Now, there's, there's a ton of detail into this game, where there's actually more than just fighting, than duels and things. We can go into this campaign mode and play like a, like a strategy game. We're on this map, we'll have cities, controlling cities, and building airships, and trying to control, like, on a strategy scale. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out and see what this game is all about. It's available on like Steam, GOG, Humble, it's everywhere. Uh, but let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna th first off, before we get too overwhelmed with what's going on here, we're going to try out just a uh, the final test in the tutorial. This is going to show us how to build a ship and how to defeat someone else. So that's that's our idea here. So we've got all kinds of different parts here. And you can see the stats up here. We're trying to construct an airship to go destroy another ship. That, uh, well, that's it. That's it. And then we'll get into campaign mode and we'll see all that. But first, let's go ahead and put something in here. We need to get things like, we'll need propellers and, and all that stuff. So let's throw a propeller out. That makes us go one direction. We need to go up or down. A suspendium chamber. Like that. Suspendium chambers need coal. So let's throw in a coal storage right there next to it. Okay. Whoops. Uh, now we need, you can see we have a few things. We need crew. We need supply hatches. We need, we need a bridge. So let's throw the bridge up, uh, like right up here. Uh, we'll put in a uh, up quarters so we can have some crew manning this ship. Sure, uh, we're gonna need a a fire point. This is this is our water tanks to put on any fires. If we get some fires along the way, which we we certainly will, um, we're gonna need some supply hatches. This is how we get in and out of the ship. So let's throw one in like right there. We'll stick one up there, and the game says we're good to go, but we're not. We don't have any ammo. We don't have any guns. Very important things when it comes to building your uh, your very own airship. So I'm gonna throw some ammo right here. And then next to that ammo, we're going to put in some guns. We'll put in, like, maybe some cannons. Lots of cannons. Yes. More cannons. Yes, lots of cannons. Okay, you can see we have a recommended crew of 23. We only have 12 people, though. So perhaps perhaps that means we need a bigger uh, another quarters. So let's stash another one of those right there. We are now fully staffed. We have lots of cannons. We can put in extra other things. If we want to put in maybe some uh, some grenades, toss some grenades down on the enemy. Uh, that might be a good idea. This one's actually not connected, so we're going to have to do something like... Uh, I think I can do... Where is my... Yes, a cord or like something like that. No, uh, no, 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 no. Cannot do that. Uh, I need you to go out a smidgen, and I think that'll do it. Um... Let's do that. And then you need connected also. Mm. There you go. Uh, well, yeah, there you go. Okay, and then we'll throw in a hatch somewhere around here like that. Okay, okay, I think we're good. We had two grand to spend. We only spent a thousand bucks. That's cheap. Do we need more cannons? I, I hear that. Yes, we do. Okay, more cannons. Okay, let's begin. All right, so there is our enemy. It's got a lot of air things above. We can't quite see what's in there, but he does have some cannons on the front here. So our goal is to destroy him. So let's do that. We can move around, and we can basically just sit in front of this guy. Now, if we would get on the other side, that would be best. So let's let's come over here and flip it around. So we want to get on the back, right? His guns are all on the front here. Ours are on the front also. So let's come over here, flip it around. Flip it around. You're not flipping it around. Get over here and flip it around. He's got a fire going on there. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get over here and blast him. Yes, yes. That's right, buddy. That's right. Where are you going, buddy? That's the wrong way. Oh, he flipped. It's okay. We got him. Blow this guy out of the sky. It'd be best if we were on the other side, so let's go do that. Now, there's different ways to do this. We could... We made cannons, but we could do something like when I did my when I was testing this out, I just made a bunch of grenades and threw grenades all all over them. Got above them, tossed grenades down, and and that did the trick. So this time we're going. Did I um? Why have I lost command? Is my propeller gone? 
seem to have... What happened? I don't know. We'll just sit here. I seem to have lost command. I seem to have lost my propeller, I guess? Oh, was, oh. My, um... Something's broken. Uh, are we gonna fail? No, no, no. We won't fail. We'll be fine. <laughs> Medic! We're laying low on ammo. Just blow it up! I don't care how hurt you are. Just blow it up! Let's see how damaged our ship is, which... You know, there's a few holes, but nope, no problem. They've got a few air leaks, so it's okay with them, too. We're running very low on ammo. Are we out of ammo? We are out of ammo. I wasn't expecting that. What got blown up that didn't allow us to control the thing? Hmm. Well, we can fix this. It's okay. It's not over yet, because we can just we can do the grenades thing. Let's toss some uh, grenades there. We'll stash a grenade. Okay, okay, I understand. Stash one there. We'll uh, put one down here. And uh, and we'll flip one. We'll do a flipped one over on this side, just in case we need some more grenades over on that side. Oops. Like that. Okay, uh, you need connected over here, so I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you. Like that, and like that. Okay. Now, let's try it again. Okay, let's do the thing where we go kind of above them. It'd be nice if we could get, you know, you know, on the other side like we were trying to do before. And just grenade this guy. We can't go quite high enough. If we had, if we were a little bit lighter, we could go a little higher, but, but we can't quite get high enough. Stay behind him. The music is great, too. The music is perfect. That's right, buddy. That's right. You can't mess with me because I'm behind you. Alright. Take this guy down. This is, and this is only a very small part of the game. I mean, it's, it's kind of the it's, it's the main part of the game, but, but there's a lot more to this. So we'll jump over there in just a minute. Oh, come on, come on. Keep it back. Keep backing up, backing up. I should have made him a little bit lighter with those grenades. Oh, we just destroyed a bunch of cannons there. You know what? We're going, we're going head to head. We got him. Flip it around. Back it up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. We got we got it one this time. So we understand what's going on now. So here we go. Let's go and check out the campaign mode. So conquest mode is what it's called. You can see there's also multiplayer in here. We can also design and fight kind of like we did there. Uh, there's missions as well. But what we want to do is we want to check out the conquest mode because it's pretty uh, it's pretty large and and and. Complex, vast, I suppose is the word. Let's open a new game here. Uh, we're going to be not cool and Varad. We're going to be Nukriam. I've created my herald here and my heraldry. And uh, this, different ones you make give, give you different bonuses. This one allows me to uh, to reload faster in boarding combat, which we'll see in a moment. We'll start off with a medium map is fine. Medium difficulty mixed uh, map is fine. Uh, yes, there are monsters around. Terrifying monsters that will come and destroy us. Uh, normal research, yes. And tier zero tech, sure. So we're going to be starting with pretty basic stuff like sails and, uh, well, sails. Sails and blimps and that kind of a thing. So we're building a map here and it's going to give us a territory to various cities that we'll be controlling and the computer will be out there also controlling and, and conquering and all of that. So we are here in this what is this? A giant desert of nothing? This is very strange. Uh, so we are here in this tiny little spot right over here. So my capital is right here. And I've got Viscura over here. We've got Ukuma and Zybar are my towns that I own. These are all giving me income, which I'm using to... I'll be using to build other ships. we got old Thalmol is our enemy. Everyone's our enemy down here. Down this way. We've got a few folks over here. I guess this is like a big desert we can't build in. Interesting. Or is that water? Oh, it's, never mind. it's water. Obviously, it's water. Uh, and, and there's the rest of the enemies around here. So we all have different uh, different cities, and we have fleets as well. Here is my fleet right here. I got one little ship right there. The, the Tentacle is my ship. It's got a few, uh, few muskets on the front of it. Uh, each town we can go check out. Let's go look at, uh, let's go look at Zybar over here. So Zybar, every place has defensive. This one has a, a defensive thing with a bunch of muskets all around. 
a bunch of folks manning these muskets. Uh, so if someone attacks me, we'll be able to defend. We can we can upgrade that. We can we can change the terrain even if we want to in each and every city. Um, now what I can do is I can send a spy over here to Tiz. Hundred bucks. Let's send the spy and go check this place out. So we can see that they have a little grass hut here. This is their defensive tower. And so what I can see is they got a bunch of muskets on the side. Well, what if we come from above and like maybe drop some bombs on the thing? Maybe might be our idea. So we'll take a look and see about building a ship that does that. So let's go design ourselves a ship. So we want to go with something. I'm going to go with something like we'll get the large guy. Um, is that right? Um, let's go... Yeah, it just looks different. Okay, we'll do something like... This is the Batrachian, sure. Uh, we'll put one of those on there and one of those. So this makes us go up and down. This doesn't make us go for side to side. This is just uh, just up and down. So we need to go and get in some sails here. This is a little bitty sail. What if we do... Oh, that's one of those. Let's just do something like this. Uh, here. Stash you on top there. And we'll put a sail right here. Okay. Uh... Okay, then we're going to get a, um, a corridor that's going to run this direction. And will allow us to go down, be oops, down below here. <laughs> like this. Yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Okay, now we're going to make some all the important stuff. Right, we want crew quarters. Sure. Uh, we probably need a couple of those, so we'll throw a couple of those in. We're going to need a bridge. Where's my bridge? There it is. Throw that in. We have we have propulsion and we have and we have uh, flight. You can see there. We need some supply hatches. Wooden is nice and cheap, so we'll throw a wooden one in there. We'll put one back here. And we'll stick one up here. Okay. And now the most important part: we need guns. So ammo storage is going to be down below here. We'll throw it right there, and we will put in. Oh, probably a fire point in case we catch fire. Might be needed, especially next to the armor thing. Oh, the yeah, the armory. Um, let's put in, what kind of guns do we have here? Uh, machine shop repair bay will help us fix things if things get broken. Might be useful. Um, let's go and put in, uh, we have grenades and we have muskets. So let's just musket this place. You know what we want? Muskets? Yeah, muskets are fine. I mean, a long time to get ammo hauled up there, so those aren't going to be the most efficient. But we can do something like that, and we can flip them around. We can have we can have muskets on all sides. These are grenades. Um, won't do much. Of it. We'll just do a bunch of muskets. Okay, we can do them all. all you know, we can just do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, that's my that's my ship. It's plenty flying. It's it's very expensive. Um, we only fire from behind. That's our that's our technique. Flip it around and shoot. That's our technique. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we still don't have enough money for it, but we can we can go ahead and build it. The Barty, the the what? The Barty Trian. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. So we're gonna save the design. It's very expensive, but we're gonna make it. Okay, now let's leave. Um, I've made one earlier, so let's build the one I made earlier, which is the Banshee. This guy right here, little bitty guy. Let's build it. Okay, we'll see it in action. So we're going to go ahead and get things started here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, we have to go to research. Research is massive. There's a there's a pretty huge tech tree here. We have all the way from, from spider legs to for uh, for land vehicles. We have some mech spiders. We have torpedo, uh, aerial torpedoes, flamethrowers. Um, we're going to learn how to make marines, though, so we can board folks. We'll spend some extra cash on our, on our tech here. So we can learn to put uh, marine barracks on our ships. So, and we can see our empire here. We've got cash coming in. We're maintaining our defenses and our fleets and research and all of that. And a spy network as well. All right. Let's begin. So, that's going to be created here. And as soon as we get a fleet, we're going to go ahead down here to Tiz. We can see they have a fleet here at Thal Mall. And I'm going to go ahead and move. we got a ship. we got two ships here now. Let's, uh, let's build another one. Build another. Anything that's cheap enough that we can make? How much do we have? Not enough. This is pyromania. Can I make you? No, I don't have enough tech for it. Okay. You know what? Um, um, how much do I... Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Somebody's coming to invade us. You're going to Zybar. No, you're not. We're going to defend Zybar. Defend Zybar. Uh, yes, go there. Build me a 347. Get, well, get me a Banshee. How much is this new guy I made? 677. Let's make another one of these. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. Our first combat. Here he comes. We're going to defend Zyvar as much as we possibly can. We could go in a, and upgrade the defenses. We can see what's here now. we got two ships. We have our defense thing. We can refit this guy. And throw on, like, more guns if we want to. But I think it's probably all right. We have different armors and decorations. We can, like, throw on some flames. Oh, a meteor. Yeah. Uh, can I put it there? No, apparently I can't put it there. Coat of arms? No. Well, there we go. Perfect. All right. Done. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. good. All right. Um, refit quickly, please. <laughs> All right. Here they come. Let's defend. Foul Maul is attacking, attacking us at night. So they have their two ships right here. They've got just uh, basically the same thing as what I... Well, they're right here. That's me. Uh, they got these two here. They all have, looks like, muskets on the front. And and they're floaty. We can't go any higher than this. This is as high as we go. So maybe we should, like, step back a bit. And hit them from back here. Would you step back as well? You're pretty heavy. So hang out back here. Uh, I think I built the wrong one. No, no, you're good. You're the one with, mus with muskets. Sit back here, and we're going to fight them as they come in. You guys just sit there and shoot. We'll let our defenses also shoot. And just, just mow them down. We got lights on there. Look at them. All right, all right, all right. They're going to come in. They don't think they don't have any grenades or anything, so they should be able to handle this. As long as we can... If we can break these brackets, we'll have them. That guy is doing what? What's he doing? Um, flip around and take this guy out. Shoot this guy. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, okay. Um, you're good. We'll take out this one. Uh, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Back it up. There you go. Keep on shooting him. If you crash, you are you are feel free to fall on top of him. It's a perfectly acceptable strategy. Why don't you get over here below this so he can't shoot you? There we go. There we go. Okay, come on, come on up here. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Don't fall on my. That was close. Don't do that. Flip it around. You, flip it around. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! That's not what's supposed to happen. No. <laughs> he fell on top of me. No, no. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly how I planned it, I'd like to point out. Uh... <laughs> So the ships are still in, intact. We'll see if they actually survive this battle. We're just gonna—we have to destroy this thing and finish it off. Come on, destroy them already. Make burn them. End it. Okay, there we go. Victory. The uh, oh, the shine. The yeah, the tower is fine. The banshee survived because it's on top of the other guy, and the, and the tentacle is grounded. We have to fix them, but we can do that. It's fine. Victory here. So can I? So the banshee. I'm gonna send you back here to get fixed. Um, I don't know what I can do about... It says he's grounded. Does that mean that... I haven't had that happen before. <laughs> um, I guess he's gone, because he's not there. So let's move our tiny fleet to invade. They don't have a fleet anymore. Um, oh, oh, oh. Research. Okay, okay. We have military. We have, tr we have, we have marines now. Um, let's get some bombs real quick. Um, I want to do... I want to try something real quick. In Nukrim, let's build this ship. Let's create a, uh, a new one. Uh, hang on. I want to uh, design a ship. We're going to make a... Um, we have marine barracks now, right? Where are they? Marine barracks. So we want to just build a ship that can just take things. That's the plan. Um, we need some... We need this. We need some supply hatches below it. So we can just like drop down out of the sky. Like that. Uh, we'll need to get some some ladders so we can get to this place. 
like that. We don't even need any guns. This thing, the whole point of this thing is to just board folks. Uh, so let's get a tank to sit up here. I think it's going to be fine. And we'll put in you. It would be nice if we had a propeller. Um, like that. So we can get plenty high enough. He's expensive. He's super expensive. And those marine barracks are expensive. 100 bucks. What if I get... Um, you know what? Actually, let's just do the cheaper ones. Actually, you don't, you don't need to fly that high. So let's do something like that. And then put you there. And then you right here. Does that work? A little cheaper. I still do need a sail. So we can stick a sail right here, and then we'll put a ladder up to it. It's still a $500 unit. That's expensive. Do I have anything? I don't have a bridge. Um, we probably need a crew court. I don't need call any bridge. We'll stick the bridge. Um, you know, we'll put it back here. And we'll put a crew quarters. Can I do a... Um, is there a smaller quarters? A berth. Yes. There we go. We got six crew. We need eight crew. There we go. So there's our crew. Is that enough to keep the thing alive? Maybe some sort of a repair bay? Cost me a lot of money. All right, just just stay alive. That's all you have to do. Just stay alive, get above somebody, we're going to drop on them. The purifi putrefication is a beautiful name. Okay, now let's go putrefy somebody. Let's build the putrefication. Where is it? There it is. Build it. As soon as we get, as soon as we get some cash, we're going to build it. So let's make some thing time pass here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fly you guys down to here. In case they want to come back and attack me. Putrefication will be here in a moment. As soon as we get some cash. Okay, I think that's enough. Putrefication. Come on, buddy. Come on in. Okay. He's going to meet up with our bombs have been researched. Excellent. Let's learn um, cannons. Oh, propellers would be great to have. Let's learn those. All right, putrefication. Here it comes. Uh, we're being attacked again. Where at? They're going to go be out or Kuma. Okay, well we can go defend that. I don't need you defending. You're not going to be actually. Maybe maybe you will. Come on over here. Yeah, I bet, yeah, that's right. You turn around. We'll go get him. What do you have here? What is this? Um, it's a decent sized ship. We can destroy the thing with a grand. Maybe we can do that. We can destroy this one for five hundred bucks. Ooh. Let's get some cash. Just, just, just destroy something. And then we'll go in there. We need more money. You're going to go over here, eh? Beat him there. Okay. I, th I think we beat him. We did not beat him. We did not beat him. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's just uh, hope this thing can hold him. Man, I'm so close. How did we not beat him? I got to see the putrefication in action, but we're already at 23 minutes, so we're going to watch this battle. I don't know if we have time for it this time. We'll see how quickly we can get this done. We may have to have another episode of this. It's like Bender. going to be a thrilling combat here. Does he have armor? Is that what that is? Or is that just wood? There's armor on the bottom here, I think. Which is wise for a ship like that. Yeah, just some muskets up here. Oh, there we go. He's burning. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Come on. Come on. Burn him down. We're losing some armor. People are getting shot. Fires are getting put out. We got the fire guy right there. Yeah, we got him. He no longer has... It's no longer connected. People are getting murdered. Our crew is down to 20 of 24. We still have ammo. Plenty of water. We got him. Well, we'll get him eventually. <laughs> eventually. We'll get him eventually. Man, we have like no guns over here. These two guys are all that's left. Just shoot that guy right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. We won. Alright. 
Let's go get him. It's going to be a long episode, but that's fine. We're going to get him. All right. Uncontested. What? He just let me walk in there? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so we have walked in here. Now we can do a gentle takeover, which, which, um, which gentle transfer of power leaves the city mostly intact. Brutal will burn things down and then take it over and pillaging. Obviously, we know what that is. So let's do a gentle takeover to take this place over. We've learned what propellers are now. So let's go pick some research. We're going to pick up, um, cannons is what we want. However, aerial hussars, I think is a very good thing that we want. Triplanes, eh? Fire extinguisher seems pretty good, too. Harpooners. Okay, we'll do uh, aerial core. Sure. Okay, we're going to call it a day here, though. Um, we may do another one of these, because I want to, I want to see the, uh, what, the what's-his-face, the, the putrefaction in action. So, thanks again for watching. Again, this is Airship to Conquer the Skies. It's available pretty much everywhere. I'll have links below. Um, but thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.